Namaskar. I am Akhil Srivastav and I welcome you all in the daily weather briefing of India Meteorological Department. In this weather briefing, we will see how was the weather during past 24 hours and what we expect in terms of weather in the coming next week. If we talk about weather in past 24 hours, ending at 8.30 hours IST of today, then we can see that there was light moderate rainfall thunder showers were observed at most places over Jammu and Kashmir, Marshall Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh and Delhi, and some were in West Bengal and Sikkim. At a few places, they were observed over West Uttar Pradesh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Assam and Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram and Tripura, and coastal Andhra Pradesh and Jhenam. Light moderate rainfall thunder shower was also observed at isolated places over East Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Telangana, Rail Sima, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, and Kraikal, and Kerala and Mahe. Isolated heavy rainfall was also observed for Punjab, coastal Andhra Pradesh, and Janam, Kerala and Mahe, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, and Kraikal. Hailstorm was also observed at isolated places over Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, and Rajasthan. If you talk about the highlights, then we are expecting that rainfall, thunderstorm, public health or activity is likely over northwest India today and likely to decrease from tomorrow onwards. Rainfall, thunderstorm, or hailstorm activity is likely over northeast, east, and adjoining central and peninsular India during next three days. If we see the synoptic conditions today, then we can see there is the western disturbance in lower middle tropospheric uh, levels uh, situated over northern parts of Pakistan and uh, neighborhood. And there's also cyclone circulation over northeast Rajasthan and neighborhood. Uh, that is, and the adjoining areas of Haryana, there was a cyclo, there's also a trough from this cyclone uh, circulation up to South Assam, passing through southern parts of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, uh, Meghalaya, etc. There was also a, a trough, north-south trough, which runs from Bihar to South India and Karnataka across Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Vidarbha, Telangana, and North India Karnataka. If we talk about weather forecast and warning during the next five days, then when uh, we see the region wise, over northwest India, fairly widespread to widespread, light moderate rainfall and thunderstorm or hailstorm is likely over western Himalayan region, and isolated to scattered light rainfall and thunderstorm is likely over plains of northwest India on 25th of March 2023. Over central India, isolated to scattered light moderate rainfall with thunderstorm and lightning or gusty winds are likely over Chhattisgarh, Vidarbha, and east Madhya Pradesh on 25th and 26th of March. Isolated hailstorm is also likely over Chhattisgarh on 26th of March 2023. If you talk about South India, then isolated to scattered light moderate rainfall with thunderstorm and lightning gusty winds are likely over Andhra Pradesh and Yanam, Telangana, South India, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry and Karaikal, and Kerala and Mahe during 25th to 27th of March 2023. Isolated hailstorm is also likely over Telangana on 25th of March 2023. We are also expecting isolated heavy rainfall activity over Tamil Nadu, Puducherry and Karaikal on 25th and over Kerala and Mahaya on 25th and 26th of March 2023. If you talk about Northeast India, then it's scattered to fairly widespread light moderate rainfall activity <coughs> with thunderstorm and lightning gusty winds are likely to continue over Northeast India during 25th to 28th of March 2023. Isolated heavy rainfall activity is also likely on Arunachal Pradesh and Assam on 26th and 27th of March 2023. If we talk about East India, then isolated to scattered, light moderate, rainfall and thunderstorm and lightning or gusty winds are likely over Bihar, Kengetic West Bengal and Odisha during 25th to 27th of March. They are likely over South Himalayan West Bengal and Sikkim on 25th and 26th of March and over Jharkhand on 26th and 27th of March. Isolated hailstorms are also likely over Odisha on 26th of March 2023. If we talk about maximum temperature during the next five days, then over central India, no significant change in maximum temperature is likely during the next two days and rise thereafter by 2 to 4 degrees centigrade during subsequent 3 days. If you talk about Gujarat, then there is a likelihood of gradual rise in maximum temperature by 3 to 5 degrees centigrade during the next 5 days. Over in Dira Maharashtra, maximum temperatures are likely to gradually rise by 2 to 4 degrees centigrade during the next 5 days. Over rest parts of the country, no significant change in maximum temperature is likely during the next 5 days. We are not expecting any uh, heat waves, so no heat waves are likely over any part of the country during the next 5 days. Five days. If you talk about weather warning map with the help of maps, then you can see that over northwest parts of the uh, of the country and uh, including the plains, there is a warning for thunderstorm and uh, hail also at some places in the northwest part today. From and uh, over east India, northeast India, uh, parts of central uh, India today. From tomorrow onwards, the warnings over northwest India have been reduced and uh, they are likely to continue over east and adjoining northeast and central India and some parts of south peninsular India. So these are the main weather features for today. We will meet again tomorrow with the similar kind of information. For any updated information, you can access Mossam map, Damni app or Meghdoot app, or you can uh, visit uh, Twitter handle of Indian Meteorological Department or our Facebook page. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Jai Hind.